We began the semester with Adoniram Judson's words uh, saying, No, Abigail, I will never live in Boston. I have farther to go. Uh, I introduce you to uh, an alum of Judson University who uh, has had that as his motto since he came to Judson from an environment where he had uh, no, uh, no uh, father and mother and ended up here as a foster child and decided, uh, no, Abigail, I can never live in Boston. I have much farther to go. Uh, after leaving Judson, he started several businesses, holds uh, plural patents, um, and uh, has a career as uh, uh, vice president at Tata Corporation in India an alum of Judson University and trustee of Judson University, Kevin No will come now and make an announcement about the future of uh, Judson. Kevin No. Thank you, Dr. Kane. It is uh, it's awesome to be in front of uh, the student body. It's a special treat to me to be in front of uh, friends and uh, as Dr. Kane alluded uh, to, when I came to Judson, um, I came as an orphan. And uh, there was no home to go home to. This was my home. And a uh, very special uh, individual, Doc Stewart Ryder, uh, took me under his wing. And for the time that I was at Judson, not only was he my professor and cross-country coach, but he was also my dad. And so I just want to pay, uh, pay special, uh, uh, share special thanks uh, to Doc Ryder for being here today. All right. So I was a student here in the mid to late 70s, you know, that era where uh, there was the big hair fro and there was, uh, there was some crazy costumes and there was that BG staying alive music. Uh, and so uh, I, I was here during a time when there was a trimester system. You could get your four-year degree in three years. And, and uh, well, when I came to Judson, I was a little bit rebellious, which I got to tell you. So this was 32 years in the making, Dr. Kane, wherever you're at. 32 years in the making. So, so when I was a student here in 1978, I graduated in 79. In 1978, I was the captain of the Midnight Marauders. And we specialized... You can see a couple of those professors over there that will probably remember this. We specialized in pranks. And uh, this very spot that I'm standing on, there was a prank that was played out. I can't believe this. 32 years later, I get to tell this story to a lot of people. There was a prank that I, uh, that I masterminded that uh, involved my uh, roommate who was wearing a Green Bay Packer ski mask. You remember that? that came out of that door, and uh, once a semester, the student body president would address the students like you, and uh, my roommate came out of the, do the door over there with this uh, mask with a chocolate cream pie in his hand, and he smacked the student body president upside the head and then exited that door. <laughs> I I'm not giving them any ideas. And I met Jonathan the other day. Jonathan, is, you know, we're not going to do that to you. But, but anyhow, that, that incident, which in all honesty, in retrospect, was not very well thought out by me and was not really a very wise decision. That incident that happened right here, I was sitting right there, caused me to come within a hair's breadth of being expelled from Judson University. And uh, I share that story with you because um, three years ago, Dr. Kane was sitting in my living room, and he said, uh, Kevin, uh, would you consider being a trustee of uh, Judson? Boy, I hope I'm breaking the stereotype of what a trustee really is. But would you consider being a trustee of Judson University? And I said, and you might remember, I said, Dr. Kane, do you, do you know who you're talking to? And uh, so, uh, obviously, uh, we all know what happened, but uh, I'm thankful. I'm thankful every day for God's grace, and I'm thankful this day for the grace that Judson University has afforded me. Okay, I am here today to share what I think is a very important announcement about something historic that will happen here April the 13th of next year, 2011, about eight months out. You see, 
we will be hosting, this campus will be hosting the first World Leaders Forum. And uh, let me tell you just a little bit about that World Leaders Forum. You see, uh, that World Leaders Forum will have a keynote speaker, and that World Leaders Forum will feature a panel of uh, very special individuals. Our keynote speaker will be former President George W. Bush, who will come to our campus, and the, and, uh, the panel will be comprised of four to five very accomplished entrepreneurs. The World Leaders Forum will have two components, and uh, these two components will impact you, and that is the main reason why I'm talking or sharing with you today. The first component will be a VIP reception in your wonderful student commons that will host 300 people that will help us to raise $1 million in a single day. The second event will be in the fitness center. And the fitness center, uh, we, we'll call that the main event. The, in the fitness center, President Bush will address uh, 1,600 people. I'll talk about that breakdown here in a little bit. We'll address 1,600 people, and we'll take questions uh, from uh, the audience. We have every intention of making it possible for some of our students to address President Bush. Now, the, the uh, panel, we're going to have a panel of four to five accomplished entrepreneurs. And you'll understand why I'm talking about entrepreneurial or entrepreneurs here in just a little bit. Um, there's one individual that, um, in particular, I want to tell you about. Uh, I think this will be, be great. I think this will be awesome. Uh, the gentleman's name is uh, Nathan Latka, L-A-T-K-A. And uh, through the effort of uh, Angel Oakley on our campaign team, she has secured his commitment. Nathan is a second-year student at Virginia Tech, and he's a Christian. And, uh, and uh, Nathan, uh, what's special about him is he um, owns and runs six businesses as a college student. He calls himself affectionately the college entrepreneur. So Nathan will be one of the individuals that will be on our panel. Okay, so uh, it promises to be uh, actually an exciting week leading up to that event. And then obviously the day itself will be very special to the family of Judson and I trust to the students of Judson as well. Now some of you may be wondering, well, so why President Bush and why this group of entrepreneurs? Well, the reason why is the intent of this event, by the way, this will be an annual event. And when I say historic, it'll be historic April 13th for the Judson family. But the following year, it will be historic as well because we have every intention of bringing yet another world leader. Imagine Nelson Mandela. Imagine, imagine Nobel Prize winners. Imagine other business leaders. I personally want to see Steve Jobs on this campus at some point in time. So over time, imagine, imagine every year Someone's going to come to campus every year will be a historic, historical opportunity. So, real quickly, let me uh, talk a little bit about um, what we're looking to do. So, the, the World Leaders Forum this uh, inaugural year is intended to help us to fund a brand new academic initiative around entrepreneurial studies. And uh, uh, while well, there's a lot of detail I could share with you, and trust me, Warren will not give me that time, the, the intent... Is to, is to create an opportunity to more fully well-round uh, or more fully enhance your education, if you will. So if you're an architecture student, and I only pick on architecture students because I know there's a few of them here, imagine being an architecture student with that major and wanting to complement that degree with a minor in entrepreneurial studies. Because over time, if you are so wired, starting your own business is something that you may want to do. So this is for traditional students. This will be for adult students. We want to create a world-class entrepreneurial initiative at Judson University, whereby, over time, we are incubating men and women who want to start their own, uh, their own venture. 